to yet another video. I'm Njuche Rispa and thank you so much for clicking onto this video and yeah, hope you watch to the end. So on today's video, I'm sharing with you clear telltale signs or how to know once and for all what your skin type is. Like for the longest time, I personally struggled knowing what my skin type was because all my life, I was a firm believer that I have a normal skin, but with enough research, I came to realize that all this time I'd been doing things meant for normal skin, using skincare regimens meant for normal skin, and all along, I was not a normal skin person. So knowing your skin type is really key because your skin type is going to determine what kind of products you use on your face. It's also going to determine the kind of skincare regimen you use and so on and so forth so knowing your skin type is really really key in really knowing how to take care of your skin how to manage it and what to do as well as what not to do for your skin so if you want to know how to clearly know what your skin type is just keep watching ideally there are four main skin types the ones that I'm completely conversant with. There might be other skin types that maybe that are not so common, but the four major skin types I'm going to be talking about are what you find like most commonly. The first skin type is combination skin. Then you have dry skin. Then you have normal skin. Then you have oily skin. Then the first sure way to find out what exactly your skin type is is just doing a tissue test so what you need to do is wash your face just wash it the normal way you usually wash your face then after drying it off do not apply any moisturizer anything just leave your face as bare as possible after cleaning it up then once uh then give it a couple of hours after cleaning it up maybe two to three hours or you can even clean it in the evening then go to bed then the next morning just take a tissue or rather what i prefer using is a serviette because it has a wider surface area or you can also use your tissue but just to make sure you're using one ply of the tissue so for my serviette i've completely unfolded it uh so what you need to do is just take your tissue then place it on your face just like so okay it goes without saying that you need to get your hair out of the way but yeah just place your tissue on your face unfortunately i can't do that because i'm looking all cute but assuming this is my face you're just going to place the serviette this is a serviette or if you're using tissue place your tissue on your face and then just tap in the serviette just tap tap it in tap it in for a couple of seconds then lift it off and just remember to know where your chin was like on the serviette to know where your chin was where your cheeks were where your forehead was for you to really know which part is which so uh let's say i've just placed it on my face tapped it in and now this is the part that has you know what we're looking for on your face the t-zone is basically the area above or on your forehead going down your nose also the chin is included in your t-zone then the outer part i don't exactly know what zone it's called but you have the t-zone and the outer part of your face which are the keywords i'll be using in this video if your t-zone has patches of oil then definitely you know you have combination skin because the t-zone will have patches of oil and the outer part of your face will be completely dry if your tissue is completely dry with zero traces of oil then you have dry skin if you have oily skin the tissue will have patches of oil all over be it on your forehead on your chin on your cheeks just all over your tissue will have patches of oil if your tissue is completely dry then you know you have dry skin and also for normal skin your your tissue will also be completely oil free but with the the difference between the normals and the dry skin for the dry skin even when touching your skin you'll feel that it's a bit stretchy or dry or even once you get hot water on your face you just feel like 
your your skin becomes a lot more stretchy than it usually is and for the normal for the normal skin type your skin just generally feels really soft and supple so let me just go ahead and start with combination skin which is my skin type and by far i will say this is like the hardest skin to maintain because I have a section of my face being oily and a section of my face being completely completely dry so even for my skincare regimen like mostly if i'm exfoliating i really focus around my t-zone because those parts are really oily and i really need to get into the pores but for the rest of my face too much exfoliating really makes me dry out like really really dry out so if i'm doing like uh, if i'm exfoliating like maybe once or twice a week i pay special attention to my t-zone and do less of the exfoliating on the outer side of my face because it's rather dry then on the flip side there's a time i'll wake up and my t-zone or rather even at times the extension a bit of an extension into my cheeks gets oily then there's a time my skin just decides that today we are drying up and yeah, at times it's really tricky to maintain combination skin, but with time you get the hang of it, though like it's never like a sure thing because today you might wake up and your skin is acting this way, then tomorrow you might wake up and your skin is just out here acting the way it wants. So yeah, on to our second skin type, which is the normal skin type. And honestly, if you have normal skin, then god just looked at you and decided honey you need to be suffering out here in this world you don't have other problems then have skin problems added onto your list of problems but yeah you're just super super lucky and how to know you have normal skin as i mentioned once you do the tissue test the tissue will have no spots of oil on it and your skin generally feels really soft and supple and people with normal skin have just smooth skin that is blemish free that is just out here glowing and you know it always has like a subtle glow that is not too shiny for me who has an experience with an oily area it gets so oily that it looks like you're shining you know but for people with normal skin you just have a really nice and subtle glow that is all natural looking okay not natural looking it is actually natural but here it is how you know you have normal <laughs> skin so on to our third skin type which is the oily skin type so for people with oily skin type these are people who are super prone to getting acne to getting whiteheads or even blackheads like their skin is just usually out there doing the most producing too much uh, that clogs your pores and that is why people with oily skin often tend to have a lot of acne breakouts and i will also say this is a skin type that is almost as hard or as high maintenance as the combination skin because if you're not careful like all these at the once your pores get clogged up you're going to have very very bad breakouts and one more thing about oily skin your your face generally or rather your face generally always feels greasy or sticky and with a tissue test you're going to have patches of oil all over from your chin to your forehead to your cheeks to your t-zone like everywhere it's just going to be super super oily or have patches of oil then one more thing that is a telltale sign that you have um oily skin is that people with oily skin have really large pores compared to someone with normal skin for the person with normal skin their pores are really tiny but if you have oily skin your pores are going to be really large and for this um i find that if you have oily skin putting anything on your face like the oils you're producing are already clogging up your pores so even putting on more products on your face tends to worsen the situation if you're not careful on to my fourth uh, skin type which is the dry skin type um a dry skin type with a tissue test uh will you will ju you'll just have your tissue completely dry with no traces of oil on it your skin also feels really stretchy more so when you use hot water like you just feel like you your skin is just stretchy you always have patches of dry skin personally because the outer part of my face is dry 
at times it gets extremely dry and i can clearly see skin that becomes kind of flaky so you need to make sure that you moisturize your face on the regular and always always stay hydrated make sure you use products that retain moisture on your skin use hydrating products that way you try and balance out and make sure that your skin gets enough moisture because it's clearly not producing enough moisture for itself so dry skin just make sure you are your face is moisturized all the time and even with makeup products you want to make sure you use maybe uh makeup products that do not have anywhere written matte finish you need to use things that are super hydrating or uh, makeup products with dewy finishes or stuff like that just to help your skin stay as hydrated as possible because once you use a mattifying maybe a mattifying foundation on your dry skin it's already dry and then you're coming here to mattify it it's just not going to work for you uh then on to uh, the next skin type though i'm not sure whether it can exactly be called a skin type because uh, it's a sensitive skin sensitive skin is basically skin that is sensitive you can have dry sensitive skin you can have sensitive combination skin so i feel like sensitive skin cuts across all the skin types because once you have sensitive skin like your skin is highly highly irritable to new products like you try something new then your face just acts up immediately once you start using a new product so with that you need to introduce product to your skin you know slowly or just first do a patch test or a spot test just try the makeup product on just a tiny section of your face then see how it works if it works for you then continue the product if your skin reacts then you need to discontinue using the product uh, so ladies and gentlemen we have come to the end of this video and yes it's really important even for the guys to know their skin type because you know taking care of your skin is not necessary only because you are female as a male you equally need to take care of your skin so yeah we have come to the end of this video i hope that with this i have helped you determine of what your skin type is any more questions you'd have on you know how exactly to know your skin type though i feel like i've pretty much exhausted everything uh just type down your question in the comment section below kamakawaida i'll be responding to each one of them so yeah that is the end of this week's video see you on my next video as we learn to look glam together bye